I'm excited about this one. I'm at Bedford Street Antiques. It's been way too long since I've been here. I hope I see the crazy lamp lady. Super cool crazy koi fish. And I really like the little Vaseline animals. I had a miniature Fenton Vaseline duck and I tell you what, did not sell for $200. That is an awesome Halloween cat. I love that hat stand too. So fantastic. Ooh, here's a good one. Oh, this is as is. I was gonna say that's pretty decent price. And then this one's 48, that's more like it. It's about what those go for. This boot is always so interesting. Look at that crazy head. That looks like the sophisticated lady, lady version of the uh, girl in the Muppets band. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Look at this funny cat. Looks like solid chalkware. 15. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be. Wait, 50% off everything. Dude, wait, what? $7.50. That's... This is changing things. Wait, the penguins are 50% off now, too. Man, Japan, they've got sand in them. They're super heavy. So they're 25 for two. Oh, this is exciting. I'm going to have fun in here. I'm making sure I'm reading the sign right. I don't know, man. I'm just standing here really tempted to get these penguins, even though they're super heavy. They're so cool. 25 for the pair, so 12.50 each, really. I feel like, it's just the sand is throwing me off. They make a fun noise. Well, I could feel people telling me to stop being cheap, so I grabbed them. I just thought they were neat. I liked them the last time they were here, too. All right, let's see what else is in here. This is cool. Huh. Well, this is adorable. What's this jar? It's got a head on it. 130. Is that right? That's kind of crazy cool. Interesting. Um, yeah, never mind. Anyway, moving on. That's really neat, too. That pink glass. Cutie. Cute, cute, cute. Little Santa. I've seen a couple things. Ah, oh, it's missing its reindeer. I've seen a couple things, but they've been in cases, and I'm really just, like, kind of having a case-free day. 22, that's really pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm a slow and so-so. <laughs> that's amazing. Whoa. Okay, epic cat situation here. $30. That seems a little steep for me. It's so cool though. Um. This is neat. Little frog with the, oh my gosh, stop. The frog has a kiss on it. That's so great. Let's see, yeah, I love the cat, but I think it's a little spendy for resale. Now I'm like, this booth always has interesting stuff and I'm forgetting how long it's been since I've been here. The bookends are great. This squirrely gig thingy is weird, but I love it all kinds of stuff going on over here. This, this is weird. It's kind of cool. Uh, Tanala. Good, but not my favorite. You know, I get into these moods where I get on these kicks. Um, every time I enter an antique mall, I feel like I'm on a different kick. I'm not seeing anything else really necessary this is a fancy ashtray yo what is happening with these beaded bears down here those are wild i actually see something i kind of want to get but i don't feel like messing with keys like i said um it's that purple faceted perfume 
with my luck, I'd go through hoops and ladders to get a key and then it would be uh, as is. What a wild owl wall pocket. That's fantastic. This is kind of bizarre. Vintage statue, little boy diving. That's really spooky, kind of. Oof, here's another booth I really like. All right, there's no discount, so I can't get too crazy. But this, like, look at that. That's neat. Um, it looks like a tulip almost, and I love this color. Look at these. They're like miniature long salt and pepper shakers. How neat. I don't think I've seen those before. Is that a... Oh, that's a bear. I thought it was a cat at first. I see a couple cats in here scattered about, but they're all ones I've seen here before. This brass snake is neat. Yeah, I've found some really cool stuff in this booth. And it's color-coordinated. I'm telling you, there's something about the color-coordinated booth. It makes me crazy. Yo, what is happening right here? Is this what I think it is? No... It's not, it's an Avon bottle. Gosh, they really look like those other cats that I'm thinking of. Dang, what a letdown, I was really excited. I thought it was like Mosser or Viking. I think it's Mosser that makes it, the one I'm thinking of. Oh, look at that parrot, that thing's amazing. Oh my gosh, and this praying mantis. I think we all know that upstairs time is my favorite time. It is so fun to dig through here. And you really gotta dig. Here's another booth that has some really fun stuff. I love the little sugar dog on pillow. $17 though. I'm like, look at this, cute. And of course, you know I'm obsessed with that color, but that's 32. Whoa, how neat is that? How much is that? It's probably expensive. It feels expensive. 30 bucks, okay. Not as crazy as I thought. Um, I would buy that for $30 if it was for me. Um, wow, this is cute too. This little um, vanity set. The infamous frog we all think is awesome. They took their discount off. So I'm just trying to see what is different weird dog i like this yellow jar weirdly let's see how much this is 23. oh this is a fun color combo even though it's like contemporary hmm weird i like it uh, i don't think i'm seeing it wait what's happening over here i've never seen this I think it's Pilgrim Glass. I think I just taught myself that. Shelton Glass Works, 22, maybe not. This is cool. This is like the Bluebird of Happiness, but it's a dog. That's kind of weird. And oh my gosh, look at this fun little owl family. That's a fun trinket dish too. I have an owl one like this, but it didn't sell. This is a cute little kid set. Really pretty mirror, oh my gosh. And what's happening over here? The fun stuff. Look at this sickly looking dog. Uh, <laughs> that's really funny. Um, art glass dish, nah. Oh, it's got a metal shade. I love metal shades. I'm gonna grab a basket just in case. Maybe it will send good, good positive energy out there for me to find something. Uh, looked at that last time. That one's as is. Both of those, the owls and the vase. Funny Santa. Saw him last time too. Oh my gosh, look at the pumpkin head. I'm trying to walk around with my camera on, ready to gasp, because I feel like I usually gasp. I usually gasp in this booth. That's really pretty, that amber. I like that a lot. This half-faced <laughs> lady. You know, if that had all the paint, though, it would be insane. Um, that's a really, really good piece. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. That's so cute. It's got a little too much wear for me. I know. I'm being picky. 
Kanawa glass. I can never say it. Ooh, gold elf, gold elf. It's probably spendy. It's on a pillow too. 18. Yeah, that's a little spendy. I mean, for a collector, it's a no-brainer, but for me, it's a little steep to have in it. That's a cute little happy Santa. Here's a cat. It's a planter too. Five dollars. Is there anything wrong with it? Not that I see. For five bucks, I'll take that. That is five dollars, right? Look at these guys. <laughs> Those are wild. I'm gonna put my basket down so I can fit in here. A lot of things that are close to something I'd pick up. But uh, other than the cat planter, I haven't found anything else up here yet that's really exciting to me. Yo, this thing is wild. How cool. $35? What? And 15% off unless marked firm. I don't see firm on it. And look what it does. Yeah. That thing lights up like a Christmas tree. That's so freaking neat. That comes to like 30 bucks. I think I'm gonna gamble on this. I definitely wouldn't lose money. It's a crazy shape. And it's got that smooth top, so I know it's not like missing a stopper or something. That's really cool. Nah, I'm taking that. All right, I'm trying not to get too excited. This one stands out, clearly. How much is it? $100. Yep, that makes sense. Totally epic, though. Dude, look at this big light situation happening in here. Oh my gosh. Well, clearly the hat sticks out the most. I think that's a Schultz piece. It's definitely expensive. I'll leave it at that, but it should be. Um, wow, that's really... Oh, wait. Is that a cat? Cat hair clip? It's signed, too. Oh, it's $60, so... Dang. Well, I think I did all right. I did $68 of damage in there and I am gonna hit the road. I think I'm gonna be really crazy and go to one more place. It's cold, it's dark, it's late, but you know, better than going back out, I guess.